to another AIR all-inclusive reviews video, where we take the guesswork out of deciding on your next getaway. So, you've decided you want the ultimate relaxing, indulging, and fun beach vacation at an all-inclusive resort. You've made a great decision. You've booked your vacation, and the countdown officially begins to beautiful hot weather, sand between your toes, and poolside margaritas. You're ready to unwind and put the thoughts of work, chores, and other mundane daily things behind you. Whether you're headed to Mexico or somewhere else tropical, choosing the right clothes to bring on vacation can make or break your trip. While you may check the weather at your destination, there are a couple more things to think about when packing your suitcase. In fact, where you stay can make the biggest impact on your travel wardrobe. For example, when you're staying at a resort, you may see mentions about resort attire and dress codes, but you might not clearly understand what they mean, and vague terms like resort casual to elegant casual can make it especially confusing and hard to decide what to bring for where you're going. So, what are resort dress codes exactly? We see this question and comment pop up almost daily on various resort and travel Facebook groups. Someone assumes they're on vacation in a tropical destination and all they pack are swimsuits, shorts, t-shirts, and flip-flops. Boy, are they going to be in for a surprise when they walk up to a restaurant for dinner on that first night and they're turned away because they aren't dressed according to the resort's published dress code. Don't be this guy. There's a dress code to go eat on a resort. Are you, are you serious? The styles you'll find in a resort casual or informal atmosphere are similar to what you'd find at popular breakfast and lunch spots. You can comfortably wear swimsuit cover-ups, capris and shorts with a shirt or polo. Tennis shoes, sandals, and flip-flops are all acceptable as well. Next up is resort evening wear. For this part of the night, most resorts are going to have a very strict dress code to adhere to if you want to dine at any of the a la carte restaurants. Now, if all you want to do is go to the buffet, it's going to be a little more flexible. Men are expected to wear pants or a nice pair of jeans. No ratty jeans, no jeans with holes. Our suggestion would be a light pair of linen pants that are very light and cool and comfortable and a collared shirt, either a button-up or a polo. As far as footwear is concerned, you will need to have a pair of closed toe shoes. No sandals and no flip-flops are gonna be allowed for dinner. Some resort families will allow men to wear shorts and a nice shirt to dinner. However, they will be forced to dine outside instead of inside the a la carte restaurants. As for women, they should bring along a nice top or blouse with a pair of jeans or a skirt. Elegant sundresses could also be considered. Women will have more flexibility with footwear than men. They can wear nice sandals with straps or some form of wedge or heel. Next up is formal resort attire. It can always be a little tricky figuring out just what is considered formal nowadays especially in a resort setting. Often this will be chosen for weddings or other special events. So formal dress codes are gonna be more lax and similar to what you would wear to a cocktail party. As for women, a number of different styles would be acceptable, including full length dresses and gowns to a nice pantsuit or a skirt with a stylish blouse. All outfits should be paired with a nice pair of flats or heels. So in concluding, wherever we are, whether we're going to work, shopping at home, or vacationing, you never want to feel out of place. It's just part of human nature that we don't want to attract unwanted attention or stares from complete strangers by wearing an inappropriate outfit for the situation or location we're in. So travel prepared and be sure to check out the website for the resort you're traveling to. Double check what the published dress code is. 
Thank you again for tuning into this AIR All Inclusive Reviews video. We sincerely appreciate your support. If you enjoy our content, would you please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribe and feel free to share this video with others. Also, click that little notification bell so you're notified when we upload new videos. We have some really exciting content planned for the near future. Thank you.